Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're going to be watching Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Um, if you're new here, hi, thank you for checking out this video. And if you've been along for this journey so far, you would know that the next film that I was planning to watch is Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace. So that's what we're gonna watch here today. I don't have much to say other than the trilogy was super enjoyable, so much fun. I really fell in love with a lot of characters and I'm excited to get to see some familiar characters at a younger stage in the past. And I'm excited to see what this movie that came out so many years later is like. I know some people have some mixed feelings on the prequels, so I'm, I'm personally excited because I don't feel like I have the same attachment as a lot of other people since all of the Star Wars films are so new to me. I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. I'm excited to watch this with you. So yeah, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Even a longer time in the past. Oh, yep. Okay. We're gonna meet some Jedi's. Is one of them Obi? Why is it that the Jedi wear cloaks like that? I wonder why that's their uniform. Oh man. Is that the Emperor? It looks like him. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh no. Oh wow, they're just gonna fight like that after they held their breath for probably a really long time? That's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> He's just knocking them out from a distance. Let's go. Whoa, how did they run that fast? Wow, these guys are, yeah. I never got to see Obi-Wan in action before. This is crazy. I've seen this thing before. I've seen photos of it. What is this thing? I swear to God, I thought Liam Neeson just put a mouth guard in. What are they, what's in their mouths? Does that help them breathe underwater? Wow. They got all these tools and stuff. Wow. I didn't realize that this movie was gonna be like The Little Mermaid combined with Star Wars. Oh my gosh. It's interesting that their language is basically just childish English. It's very convenient and <laughs> easy to understand. Why were you banished, Jar Jar? It's a long hotel, but uh, a small part of it would be Miss uh, uh, Clumsy. Oh no. Doesn't seem like a good partner to have on this trip. Oh. <gasps> oh wow. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, that fish had arms. Had biceps. Wow. You didn't tell him about the missing Jedi. No need to report that to him until we have something to report. Ha. Huh. Smart. Yeah, I would do that too. Oh, it's back. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ew! Oh, it's like the Spinosaurus and it has like that mouth that the Spinosaurus has in Jurassic Park 3 or 4. Oh no! How many fish are in here? This could like really be what's at the bottom of the ocean because we don't know. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff down there that we don't know nothing about. Where are you taking that? To Gurusan. Gurusan. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. I guess droids are more effective against people who know the Force, though, because they don't really have feelings. I mean, you know, 3PO and R2 have feelings, but not these guys. Oh! I will say it's fun watching the 
lightsaber battles just get more and more intricate and woven into the film as the films progress. Oh, they're fixing it. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh. Is that R2? I have a feeling this is R2-D2, like R R2 d 2 Tatooine. Luke's planet. Ah. R2 D2. <laughs> of course. I knew it. Mainly because I didn't think there'd be another one just like him. Be wary. Sense of disturbance of the force. I feel it also, Master. Don't let them send any transmissions. The thing that Liam Neeson's wearing reminds me of like something Lily Tomlin would wear. I feel like Jedi's are just bohemian, have a bohemian aesthetic. This is not a good idea. Stay close to me. Why does she want to come along so bad? Why you gotta bring little Natalie Portman along? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Don't touch anything. That was unnecessary, Jar Jar. My mom and I were sold to go oh. But she lost his betting on the oh, no. races. You're a slave? I'm a person and my name is Anakin. Oh, This little Anakin. Oh, his little, 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 little Anakin. He's so cute. Not likely. You have nothing of value. That's a problem. <laughs> you have R2-D2. Why'd you bring R2-D2? Why? Why? We know from past movies that the Huts steal droids, so why? <laughs> this Jar Jar is such a liability. Like, get rid of him ASAP, please. I gotta look up where this was filmed. Whenever they're on Tatooine, I just feel like I'm at Burning Man. <laughs> No way. I am you on cycle relations. How might I serve you? It's perfect. This is crazy. A pleasure to meet you. Oh my god, they've been friends for that long? That's so cute. Survival our Excuse me. Thank you, Liam Neeson. I don't want you to race. It's awful. I die every time once he makes you do it. But mom, I love it. No. The prize money would more than pay for the parts they need. The way Liam Neeson's looking a little and again, it's like, oh. I can see how they're really establishing. Anakin Skywalker is a like sweet little angel, and it's gonna break my heart when he turns to the dark side. Damn. You just high five him instead of shake hands. Who was his father? Hmm. There was no father. What? I carried him. I gave birth. I raised him. I can't explain what happened. <laughs> what? We got a Virgin Mary over here. What is this guy's problem? You're quite right. He's very odd in here. <laughs> Why is C-3PO still naked? <laughs> Put some clothes on him. What are you doing? Checking your blood for infections. Checking his blood? Is it for a DNA test? I'm, I'm curious. You need a midichlorine count. What is a midichlorine? What? What is that? Over 20,000. Even Master Yoda doesn't have a midichlorine count that high. No Jedi has. Is that like a play on the word mitochondria? What what does midichlorian mean? What I'll wager my new racing pot against say oil <gasps> Your pot is what it's just like. He can control the die, can't he? Control the die, Liam Neeson, yes. <laughs> oh 
Oh, he's gonna save the boy. I feel kind of bad for the mom though. Like she's gonna be stuck on this planet as a slave all by herself. Like that, that sucks. Wait, I recognize this guy's voice. Pausing. Who voiced that radio guy? I know that voice. Greg Proops! Oh my God, it's Greg Proops. I love Greg Proops. Whose line is it anyway? Oh my God, hey dude. Yo, Kato, Bantha, Puto. It's the second time I've heard Bantha fodder. I still don't know what it means. It's just a derogatory term, I guess. I don't know. <gasps> Anakin, no! Oh no, they're getting such a head start! <gasps> go, Annie, go! Go, Annie, go! Annie, go. Oh boy, this is a dangerous, oh my god. I feel the way I felt in the sixth movie when they were racing through the trees now. Oh god, yeah, see, mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't like that. No, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sand people again, are you kidding me? Stay out of this. Ooh. Oh wow, what a little badass, oh yeah. Oh, I'm anxious. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Woo! This should be a roller coaster, guys. This looks like fun, I'm not gonna lie. This, this thing is falling apart, oh no. Hold on, Harry, you're racing for your freedom, little boy. No, don't let him get you. Don't let him get you. It's going to be neck and neck, isn't it? It's going to be like a horse race, like finish by the nose, isn't it? Come on. Oh. oh. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> He's completely covered in dust. That's great. You just fall asleep during the race, man? But I want to go. It's what I've always dreamed of doing. Can I go, Mom? Aww. What about Mom? Then it hits him, yeah. Your mom doesn't get to come, buddy. You're coming with us, aren't you, Mom? Oh. Little boy, be a man. It's time to grow up. I know you're only like seven, but it's time to grow up. This little boy tugs at the heartstrings, man. Oh, Fabio, is he, he's gonna get to come, right? Fabio, I've been free. Bye. Bye. Uh, 3PO doesn't go. Yeah, that's fair. But I wonder how him and R2 get together on Leia's ship later. I kinda know. Oh, man. He's such a good actor. Oh my God. It's making me cry. I'm too sensitive for this stuff, man. That little kid was too good of an actor. Jake Lloyd, oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, are we gonna leave Liam Neeson behind? Oh man. Oh, okay. That worked out well. Man, R2 has been around for all of it. Coruscant. The entire planet is one big city. Ugh. Sounds like my worst nightmare. I love nature too much. I do not believe the Sith could have Oh, hey, Samuel Jackson. Finding him was the will of the Force. I have no doubt of that. Bring him before us. <laughs> He's like, all right, let's see this boy with special powers, I guess. I sent Padme on an errand. I'm on my way to the Jedi Temple to start my training. Where is Padme? 
You know, is I, is, is, is Natalie Portman both, is Padme the queen? Like is the, is, is like, is it the same person? Cause it looks, it like, it looks like Natalie Portman is the queen. And I thought Natalie Portman was the queen when the movie started. So now I'm, now I'm confused. Body is not capable of action. I suggest new leadership is needed. Yeah, that's definitely Natalie Portman. I don't know why I doubted myself. Boy will not pass the council's test, master. He's too old. He's too old? How young do you have to be when you start Jedi training? He is headstrong. He has much to learn of the living force, but he is capable. There is little more he can learn from me. Well, we know that Obi-Wan took on Anakin, so I'm wondering what's going to happen to Qui-Gon. Jar Jar Binks. Misa, your highness? Yes. I need your help. <sighs> oh, okay. So that's why, that's where Jar Jar Binks comes into this equation. What? <laughs> okay, yeah, you don't want to be here anymore, huh? You wanted attention, now you want to get down again, I see. Mm -hmm. Let them make the first move. Yes, my master. Man, that makeup must have been a little time consuming to do. Well, I guess everything in this movie, makeup wise, is time consuming to do each day on set. We shall make you bomb. Oh no, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't. Once we get inside, you find a safe place to hide and stay there. Sure. Stay there. Oh no. I'm worried about Anakin. The queen should not be front and center without a shield. I know she's got two Jedi's blocking her, but still. Wouldn't be Star Wars without a battle in space. I can't believe that Jar Jar is in control of this right now. It makes absolutely no sense. Wow, God, who is this guy? What, what kind of creature is Darth Maul? Oh no. Are you kidding me? I thought, that Liam Neeson and Ewan McGregor were gonna have to fight off Darth Maul and those robots. He's got a double lightsaber, are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Wrong one, maybe this one. R2, can you shut this down? Oh no. Guys, somebody help the kid. R2, can you stop this? What's happening, oh my God. Wow, this music is so intense. Good things never happen when you're fighting on a bridge. Good things don't happen when you're fighting on a bridge. We learned this from the fifth movie. You know, I, I gotta say, I do love this franchise, having so many princesses and queens that fight all their own fights. <gasps> oh no, no, Obi. Oh. oh, this isn't good. Liam Neeson's fighting on his own now. Oh boy. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, it's time to meditate now. Okay. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. I thought C3PO was helpless. This guy is just completely a mess. Oh God. What is the purpose of this force field? Oh no. <gasps> oh. oh no. Oh my god, this lightsaber battle is crazy. 
Uh oh. <laughs> What'd you do there, Anakin? Good job. That was good. Good job, little kid. The control ship has been destroyed. Look. I wonder if that's why they stopped using droids and started fighting with stormtroopers. Wow. Wow. Oh, he just cut him in half. Oh my God. That is crazy. That, wow. Promise. Promise me you will train the boy. Yes, master. Oh, that's why he went against his better judgment because he made a promise. He will bring balance. Oh, that was kind of true. He brought balance by having a kid that is Luke Skywalker, but oh, I guess it's all necessary, right? It's a necessary evil. And you, young Skywalker, we will watch your career with great interest. Oh, I heard that quote before. People commented that in my comments. I didn't know what that was from. All right, I get it. Oh, wow, what a funeral, my God. Oh, this is what Luke did with Darth Vader's mask in the sixth movie. Oi. Nobody makes her smile except for that little boy. Aww. Yay. Well, for now. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that reaction. I really liked that movie. I thought it was super cute, super sweet. I'm in love with little Anakin Skywalker. He is adorable and such a good actor, Jake Lloyd, wow. Yeah, he had some moments that I don't necessarily see from kids in a lot of movies where they have to carry a big role. So yeah, he was really good. It took me way too long to catch on to the fact that that was Natalie Portman as the queen and in disguise. I don't know why I was doubting myself. I think it's, I have a hard time recognizing people, especially when they're dressed up. So I thought it was her and then I doubted myself and then I thought it was her again and I just kept going back and forth in my head. But yeah, I'm really interested to see the development of both Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker as characters. I'm really excited to unpack these next two films with you guys and experience them with you having a lot of fun watching them and this one was a lot more lighthearted, a lot less intense I feel like. Um, the last few I've gotten so sucked in and so stressed because I feel like there's been so many high stress fight moments and for some reason I didn't get as uh, anxiety induced in this one but it was really enjoyable and really sweet. All right guys thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. If you stuck around for this whole thing, it means so much to me. You have no idea. Uh, I know I can talk a lot and these videos can go on kind of long sometimes. Um, it really means a lot. So thank you so much. And please leave a comment down below letting me know some other movies, TV shows, things you'd like me to react to next. I'm open to any and all suggestions. I, I, I'm a bit of a baby, so maybe steer away from horror and really scary things. I see a lot of people suggesting Alien. I've seen Alien. It's an amazing film and it's horrifying and I hate it, but I also love it because like Sigourney Weaver is amazing. But um, I could watch it again with you guys. It's just, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of explicatives and uh, jumping and screaming. So if you're interested in all those things, I'll do it, but I'm going to hate it. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to, and until next time, stay golden. Bye.